Thanks so much for watching. And in this video, we are going to be linking our MailChimp email list to our Shopify store. So I'm in the back end of MailChimp here under list, which you can see at the top. I have my sample list set up. That's just kind of a, a basic email list, but I've imported a few subscribers. And now we're going to actually be linking it to Shopify. So the best way to do this is actually through a Shopify app. So I'm going to come back into the back end of my Shopify store and I'm going to hit apps. I'm going to say visit Shopify app store. And here I'm just going to hit or type in MailChimp into the box and it's going to be MailChimp for Shopify. Okay, and then just get. So as we do this, it's going to verify permissions. I'm going to log in here with my login information. Again, I had already set up my MailChimp account, so this will be just where you put in your information that you had set up with MailChimp. And I'm just going to verify that MailChimp will have access to this information and hit install app. And we want them to have access to that information so that it can sync everything over to MailChimp. So it's actually going to sync your not only your email list so that new customers can be subscribed to a list automatically, but it's also going to connect up in terms of orders and purchases. So that way, whenever you send out an email, not only are you going to be able to see how many people open and clicked on that email, but you're also going to be able to see how many orders it generated, what the total price was, what the average order amount was, and it's really just going to connect more so that you can then target people who purchased from you from the past, people who have spent over a certain amount. You can send them like a VIP email that you know anyone who spent over $500 with you will get, and you can pull in all that information and segment your list just off of connecting with Shopify. So it's very powerful. So now that I had verified that I wanted Shopify to have permissions with MailChimp, I'm going to choose a list to sync. So I just have one, so I'm going to click here at the website, sign up, and hit next. And just like that, it says the store is connected, so I'll hit all done. And so this is the back end of MailChimp. So you can see here that it says that it's syncing and the time that it's syncing. You can also see here the add automation. So you can set up to automatically have abandoned carts, um, emails that go out. So if someone abandons the cart on their site, as well as other automatic emails that you can set up. So here it says that it's syncing the list. If you have a large list, this may take a bit, or if you already have a lot of customers that have purchased from you on your site, um, but you can always come back and leave this page and it'll automatically do it for you. And that's how you set it up to sync with your Shopify store.